I've known about the WOW Festival since it first started in Brisbane, uh, and I also attended the WOW Festival in Melbourne that was held at the Footscray Arts Centre. So I've always sort of been aware of the festival. Pre-COVID, our company, Nightlife Music, had partnered with WOW to present, like, bang and a list of female music and power anthems at the powerhouse. So I was sort of at that level, sort of, I suppose, in the orbit of what WOW were doing. I've known um, Cathy Hunt and some of the leaders for, for many, many years in the, the Brisbane community. Uh, so there was an opportunity. I heard that they were going to do some house, um, sort of think of little mini whales in houses and invited the team over because the project I'm working on seemed to really fit um, what we're going to talk about today, which is next economies and new ways of working and small business. So I stepped back from the music, frontline music industry over five years ago. Before that, I'd been an artist manager for a couple of decades and managed a whole lot of different artists. Uh, so when COVID hit, it was actually, so Lydia Fairhall, who I'd been aware of through her work um, as a theatre producer and filmmaker and a songwriter, approached me as this new idea that she was working to release her new record. So the record's called True North, it's not released yet, to come on board and really work with her and Deb Suckling, who's on the label side of things, and Deb Gann, who's on the publicity and promotional side of things. So I said, yes, I'm not an artist manager anymore, but I was really interested in this idea of finding new ways that support the artist um, and around self-determination. And so we actually do, it's like an active research project where I'm working alongside Lydia to guide the purpose of her as an artist and as a person um, and making sure that through this release cycle, actually every, all the decisions that are made and we're looking for new, um, new ways of working and new ways of releasing music that actually empower the artist um, through the process. So we're sort of halfway. The second single just came out this week, yesterday. Uh, so it's been a really interesting. So that conversation of me working on new business models for contemporary music um, really fits in with what the WOW theme for this next economy was. So the theme for the WOW at our house today is around next economies and new ways of doing small business um, and business in the home, etc., which is a really broad theme. Um, it's a universal theme. There's a lot of people that talk about next economies and ways that you can make money, but also aren't extracting things from the planet, more sustainable. But I'm really interested in also around your own personal energy and extract not being burnt out. So the arts and music industry are notorious for burning out people's energy. So there's sort of that idea. So that whole theme, when it sits here today, um, it, yeah, is, is what we're talking about. So some of the audience will be women that run businesses from home who are thinking about this idea of next economies, of how we move beyond that sort of neoliberal and capitalism, extract everything from the world and actually look at ways that are much more around the dualities. Um, you know, so we'll be talking about things where there at is, um, you know, how to measure things through how things feel and the tastes and the senses you experience with an arts event, for example, rather than it just being how many tickets you sell and how many people stream your record. What I'm hoping, what I take away is also what the audience take away. So it's about how we can think about new ways of working, new ways of being and doing. Um, so regardless of what people's work is, so that conversation today, I hope, is what we all take away, something to actually think about how we can work in different ways that are actually sustainable and, a, a, you know, are healthy, you know, mentally and, and spiritually and energetically. Um, so th there's that that I'd like to take away. Um, I'd also like people to take away an awareness of, um, you know, the, I suppose, the incredible cultural power and knowledge that our First Nations women and artists have and how working a project together can really centre them, their voices, their music. And finally, I hope they take away some good music. So there's some great musicians playing and, you know, I hope they do add the songs from Lydia Fairhall and Emily Wormara and to their playlists, you know, on whether it be Spotify or Apple, those big global streaming companies, but it's only by really playing and supporting local music that eventually we see the, the royalties and the impact from that. So hopefully they enjoy the gig but add a song to their playlist. That'd be good. I think these conversations are important to happen Yes, during COVID, but I think COVID's created the opportunity in the space to think about these conversations. I don't think the conversations are necessarily because of COVID or will stop when it, you know, goes away. I think the, the earth and everything and the people who have been talking about next economies and new ways of working 
being, thinking and doing um, is an ongoing conversation. But I think this little catalyst moment, there's people that probably were so busy and so distracted and so depleted working in the old models that now this might, these conversations might plant a seed that there are new ways that people can work um, and start thinking about that. And I think, you know, the new, co the new COVID normal, et cetera, some of these are going to become really important about how we work in our communities, in our homes, how we look after our own, you know, mental health, physical health, spiritual, spiritual health and our energy is really important.